schools in our area have been working to crack down on a tremendous problem, vaping. Clark County is the newest school system to implement a five-week program where students caught vaping on campus. NBC 15's Lisa Lebrenyak joins us now. Lisa, Clark County Superintendent says they partnered with Mobile's Drug Education Council. Yeah, that's right, Andrea. It's called the Chemical Abuse Prevention Program. If a student is caught vaping, they'll have to attend this program once a week for five weeks with their guardian. They also have to pay $50 up front. That money goes directly to the Drug Education Council. Now, if they fail to attend the first class or any class after that, for that matter, they're suspended. What's known as a nationwide epidemic, vaping continues to wreak havoc in classrooms across the country and close to home. Clark County joining forces with other school systems like Baldwin and Mobile County to tackle the same issue. I want to know how bad is it in Clark County? Well, right now it's not too bad, but we wanted to get ahead of it a little bit because every year we see just a few more. We've got what we're finding in our school system, we've got a lot of repeat offenders. And I got tired of just sending children home and bringing back. Larry Bagley is the Clark County Superintendent of Education. Clark County Public Schools has about 2,300 students. And right now, Bagley says it appears the middle school students are the biggest vape users. Well, those kids in the seventh, eighth grade, getting started. This program is just getting started in Clark County. So far, two students have been caught vaping since the board adopted the program in January. They will soon have to attend the after school session for five weeks. Virginia Guy, the executive director of the Drug Education Council, says this program is a successful one. The child and the parent, in fact, the entire family, it doesn't just have to be, you know, one parent, the entire family can come. It's an educational uh, family strengthening program. Program. It talks a lot about um, uh, fa family communications, ways to uh, set rules and, and maintain them and keep them, and, um, and then just a lot of education about why this is dangerous. Mm -hmm. If a student is caught vaping or is, or is even caught with the vape but not using it, they'll have to attend this program that kicks off in about two weeks at the Thomasville Civic Center. If that student doesn't show up with their guardian, schools will revert to its suspension policies to deal with the issue. Kim, Andrea? Lisa, thank you. NBC 15 News is dedicated to investigating issues that matter to you and your family. We want you to send us tips or alert us to problems you're seeing in our schools just give us a call at our Crisis in the Classroom tip line.